Our daily routine might be a little like this. You wake up and go into the bathroom to freshen up, where clean water is on tap. You put on some lovely clean clothes and then go downstairs to prepare for your day. You might have some breakfast. Get your bag ready. Prepare a packed lunch. And then eventually you might set out by walking to school, getting on your bike, or going to work in a car. You have a hard day and then you return home where you might have a cup of tea with your family, watch some television, play a computer game and have some fun. You might then have your supper and eventually go to bed in a warm, clean bedroom. We might forget though that there are people in the world that perhaps experience life a little differently. Welcome to Mwandi Mission Hospital. Um, as you can see, we're here to do our mission work and uh, to work with the community. for Zambians to grow food in their back garden. We are four and a half hours drive away from Livingston and what that means is that we're four and a half hours drive away from any shops, from any supermarkets. So buying a lot of these fruits and vegetables would be something that you know you drive to Livingston takes you four and a half hours and then you will drive back and uh, it w takes you another four and a half hours. So it would take you eight, nine hours to get fruit and vegetable. So a lot of people will grow fruit and vegetable in their uh, gardens so that they can make sure that they have something to eat. As you can see this little plot is on the side of the Zambezi, as we can see over there. The water for the village is either pumped straight from the Zambezi or from wells. We are drinking at the moment water that is pumped from the Zambezi but we are very fortunate because it is filtered through special filters and boiled so that it is safe to drink. But there are many people who are still drinking water straight from the river. The river is also used to dump sewage, fishing, wild animals swim up and down it so you can imagine that it needs a lot of purification. Harvest is the time of year where Christians come together and celebrate the good things that God has provided for us in the year that has just gone. It is also the time of year to be reminded that there are people in our world that do not experience these good things in the same way that we might. It is a challenge for all of humanity to learn to share so that nobody in our world goes without. This harvest you might like to do one of the following things so that we can make a difference in our world. 
Firstly, you might want to thank God and the people around you for providing the good things that we experience on a daily basis. We might like to think about ways that we can help others who do not receive even the basic things like food and water so that they too could have a better quality of life. And finally, you might like to pray and ask God to help you be somebody that can change the world that we live in. In our world, there are enough resources for everybody to live happily. Let's make sure that nobody goes without. <laughs>